Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the Infinity Gauntlet mod. Now, the mod creator's video will be linked in the description below, so go check him out. He goes into a lot of detail about his mod. He gives you the download links, those will be in his description. And, let's see what else. Instructions on how to download the mod. I knew there was three things, but I forgot the last one. So, let's actually get started on getting the Infinity Gauntlet. Now first, you're going to want to summon in a forge. To do that, you need to summon in an iron golem, and your forge will spawn. If you already have a forge in your world, say if a iron golem summons in naturally in a village somewhere, then all you have to do is do slash kill at E. It will kill you, but you can always respawn. And keep in mind, it will kill all mobs in your world, so if you have a world that you really do care about, I don't recommend running that command. But yeah, to actually get the gauntlet and armor, all you have to do is place two gold blocks right in the middle, flick this lever, and you will get your armor and sword and gauntlet. Now I already have all this stuff, so I don't need it. I already have the armor. I know I'm an Alex skin, I haven't gotten to change my skin yet. I don't know if you care about that, but if you do, there you go. Now, to actually get the stones, you're going to need to kill 10 Asgardian, 10 Dark Elves, and 10 Kree. Uh, those are the first three stones, that is. And to actually get the Soul Stone, you need to have any tamed pet. It can be a dog, cat, horse, uh, parrot. And as you can see, a little yellow particle spawned under him. That means he is able to be sacrificed for the Soul Stone. Uh, you have to wait, I believe, five minutes before you can actually sacrifice your dog to get the soul stone. So keep that in mind if you're trying to get the soul stone and it's not working. That's probably why you have to wait ten minutes. Now, first I'm going to kill the ten Asgardians. They are three texture zombie pigmen. So you find them in the nether, just kind of roaming around. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. A few of them escaped. So I'm just going to deal with those first. They seem to like to glitch through the fence. I don't know why. Now I believe the Asgardians give you the... Let's see. Reality Stone, I think. And I think the Kree give you the power... And the Dark Elves give you the reality. I'm fairly certain. But I don't really remember. There we go. We got the space stone. So if I put my gauntlet in the offhand, I can now right click and add the soul stone, I mean the space stone, to my gauntlet, and I have all of its powers. So, before we go on to the next stone, let's check out what powers the space stone gets us. Now, the first one is portal. If I right click, I can go into spectator mode, and I can fly around freely, get wherever I need to go, and when I want to go out of spectator mode, I just stop moving, and I will appear again. Now the next stone, or not the stone, the next ability of the space stone, all you have to do to switch abilities is to crouch. The next ability is lift. I believe it works on items. Yes, it does kind of work on items, not as well as it does on mobs. But if you have a mob, let's just get an Asgardian in here, you can freely lift it around. You can actually put it in blocks as well, so you can suffocate it. You can actually just shove them in blocks and leave him there forever to suffocate to his death. If you are that kind of person, you can do that. Now the next power is the Summon Moon. Now this ability isn't that useful if you don't have the Power Stone yet, but we will get into that later. And it looks like that's all the abilities for the Space Stone. The next one, the Dark Elves. I believe this is going to give me the Reality Stone. There we go. It should be 10. Maybe a little more. I think I got 
a little more than 10. It's gonna take a while to kill. These are just retexture skeletons, so they spawn naturally around your world. You should get the reality stone pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure these guys give you the reality stone because that's how it was in the movies, so only makes sense that it would be in here as well. There we go. We got the reality stone, so as usual, right click, and we can add that to our gauntlet. We also got a dark elf skull there. Uh, that's kind of cool if you're into that kind of thing. But I don't want to waste space in my inventory, so I'm not going to pick it up. Now, to change what stone you're using, you actually can switch your hotbar slot. So the first one, as you can see, is lift, and the third one is the reality, and it's transform. Now the transform one is actually pretty cool. So let's get a mob in here. Let's just get another Asgardian, because we're picking on those guys today. We can press transform and they turn into a glitchy mess that I personally would not want to be. I don't know about you, but I don't really want to be that purple blob. To actually change this away from a glitchy mess, all you have to do is change your hotbar slot. They turn back to normal. Apparently they go invisible for a second. I don't know why, but they do. And the next ability is summon bats. And apparently dark elves. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not very smart. Okay, I have the spawn egg for dark elves in my inventory. So yeah, you can summon bats. Apparently they do damage. I didn't know they did damage, but they do. I don't know how that ability would be that useful, but it's kind of cool. I like it, actually. And my dog is dying. I don't want that to happen because I need the soul stone. Please, just chill. There we go. Now the next ability is revert. Don't know what that does. I don't think it actually does anything. It's just kind of there. So the next one is cloak. It's basically portal, but worse because you can't really go through blocks. It just kind of teleports you around everywhere. So yeah, the reality stone, not that useful unless you want to turn things into a glitchy mess, which I personally like. But my favorite out of all the infinity stones has to be the space stone. Because in this mod it's actually probably the most useful, I'd say. Now let's get on to the power stone. So we have to summon in some Kree. There we go, that should be 10. I'm sure the revert actually does something, but... I don't know why, I haven't been able, to, been able to figure it out, so that is a thing. These diamond swords actually feel pretty weak, because I'm used to playing on uh, Bedrock Edition on the Xbox One, so I'm used to having a different PvP system, and the swords are actually stronger in that system. So yeah, it feels kind of weird, but I'm dealing with it. So the next one is the Power Stone. Again, we know the drill. Right click, add it to the gauntlet, and it is there. So whatever slot is the Power Stone, I don't know. It is this one. Your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 slot. And you will get the Bolt ability. And it can break blocks. It kind of makes a cool little particle effect. Can also damage things, so if we get a Kree in here. Actually, I think I have to remove my sword. Okay, come on, let me let me bolt. Come on. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot of different uh, powers that you can use. And where'd that Kree go? There he is. Get over here. Get bolted. It's actually pretty powerful. I'm pretty sure it took less hits with the bolt than it did the diamond sword. So that's kind of cool. And the next one is Pulse. Now if I get another Kree in here, I can just push it back and apparently into blocks. Okay, I hear my dog dying again. No, doggo! Well, now I have to summon in another one. Because my dog decided to go into a wall. Again, definitely wasn't me. I did not accidentally shove my dog into the wall. 
But uh, yeah, you might want to put your dog in a safe place if you don't want it to die in the process of getting the Infinity Gauntlet. So yeah, keep that in mind. The next one is Ignite. So I got that moon up there if I go to the Space Stone. Summon moon, I have to look straight up to summon the moon. There we go, we got a moon. Uh, detonate moon? Oh, we can make it explode. And I almost just killed my dog again for like the third time. Nope, dog. I need you for the soul stone. I have a feeling I'm not going to be getting the soul stone anytime soon. Because I can't keep my dog long enough to sacrifice it. So yeah, that is all the Infinity Stones that is available from just killing stuff from spawn eggs. Now the next one is the Time Stone. I'm, I'm going to want to summon in a Wither. So I'm getting Soul Stand. Soul Stand? I'm not sure if that's an actual thing. I'm pretty sure it's Soul Stand. Okay, Wither Skulls. There we go. Uh, maybe I should keep the weather away from my dog. Just the thought. Let's just go over here. And basically we have to spare the life of the wither. So once it gets pretty low on health, it will... A message will pop up in chat. All you have to do is click... Pretty sure it's yes. And you will get the... Uh, time stone, that's what it is. Come on, Wither, I want to sacrifice you. Alright. Maybe I should have put this in a cave. Actually, let me get a bolt ability in here. I anyway, forgot to go over the fire redirection power. I guess I'll go over that. Apparently, Bolt doesn't do any damage to Withers. Uh, that's something I did not know. Definitely, I'm very glad we did this away from my dog. So I can get the Soul Stone. Again, I have no attachment to my dog. I just want the Infinity Stones. This guy is actually pretty annoying. He keeps flying around. Of course, I could have summoned him underground, but I didn't feel like doing that. There we go, we're getting some good shots on him. He's dodging. He's at half health. And he's also in his second stage. The message in chat should be coming up anytime soon. There we go. An opportunity has been opened up. Are you willing to make a sacrifice? Spare the wither, and you'll be granted the might of the time stone. Do you accept this offer? I'm going to be clicking yes because I want the time stone. And the wither actually dies anyway. Uh, I don't think you get the nether star, which is kind of a shame because you already went through the trouble of killing a wither. But you get the time stone, so it's all worth it. Again, right click, add it to the gauntlet, and you get the abilities of the time stone. But first, let's go over the fire redirection. So if I get a fire in here, what is it? It was the reality stone or power stone. Oh, I'm crouching a bit too many times apparently. No, not sticky keys. I don't know if that stopped my recording, but I hope it didn't. Apparently I'm crouching too much. I thought I was trying to turn on sticky keys. Very annoying. But yes, I fire redirection. It basically just kind of picks up the fire, and you can throw it in kind of a bolt type way, kind of like uh, this ability. Actually, I'm going to destroy the forge because I don't like it anymore. Apparently, I can't destroy armor stands, so the abilities of the power stone is apparently pretty limited. Now, let's go over the time stone, finally. I'm going to need a spawn egg to just test out some of its abilities. So the first one is slow. It basically just 
puts green particles around the mob and it cannot move. Kind of useful if you're in a sticky situation. I don't know if you can use it on boss mobs such as the Wither, but I would be kind of useful. Now the next one is Loop. This is basically a spawn point setter, so if I want to respawn here with all of my items whenever I want to, I can activate Loop, and every time I die, I would just respawn there with all my items. The next one is Reverse. It basically reverses any damage you do. So I believe if I kill this creeper, and uh oh, I really like that creeper. Let's bring him back. That was a spawn egg, not the time stone ability. And I think I ruined it. So let's kill this creeper over here. Because once you actually do something else, I'm pretty certain it's like... It, the ability doesn't work after you, you have already been away from that area a certain amount of time so if you kill a creeper run over here really far away and you decide to come back here you cannot use the reverse ability because well you are out of range so i believe if i get explosions because this ability was working before i don't know why it's not now it's probably because i started recording it's just bad luck because every time you start recording um, things go wrong. That's just how it is generally. I'm sure that's what it is now. So I get some TNT. I should be able to reverse it. Let's get a flint and steel. Not a sunflower flint and steel. There we go. Let's just light that. Oh, explosion. Let's reverse it. There we go. That's what the time spin does. You can reverse things a uh, loop, and I forget the other ability, slow. So it's not as useful as some of the other ones, but certainly not too bad. I don't know how long it's been. I could sacrifice my dog now, but I don't want to risk it. So all I need to do is find a woodland mansion, and yeah, see if the vision spawns. Actually, I think I'm going to sacrifice my dog now. Just because I'm going to be leaving this area and probably not coming back. So I believe I put it in a cave. Yes, it's over here. I'm going to sacrifice you. Very sorry, doggo. But uh, it has to be done. Oh, I thought it didn't drop the soul stone for a second, but it did. We got the soul stone. Let's add that to our gauntlet. Now all we need is the mind stone. So let's go over the abilities. Now all I have to do is find the hot bar slot. Here it is. Just getting rid of that. Now the first ability is detect. If I press right click, I can see all the mobs through the floors. It's pretty nice. I can hold down right click and constantly see the mobs. Which is kind of cool. I can kind of see monster dungeons as well. So if I see a bunch of the same type of mob, it could be a dungeon. I'm not actually seeing any right now, so it's possible there's not any dungeons nearby. Let's go on to the next ability, Trap and Release. So if I come over here to this poor cow, I can trap him and then release him. I said, and release him. There he is. Took a little while, but it happened. And yeah, those are the only two abilities of the Soul Stone. Not that useful. Uh, yeah, let's get the Mind Stone. Okay, so I just found a Woodland Mansion, and I'm hoping the Vision is in here somewhere. If not, I have to wait for him to spawn. Now, oh, I just saw Vision through the wall. I was just gonna say, one way to actually find Vision is no, he went through the ceiling. Oh, oh no, he went through the floor. Get over here, I want your Mind Stone. Oh. I don't- is that him? Those are crops. Now, one thing you can do is use the Soul Stone ability of Detect. And you should be able to see Vision somewhere around here. Uh, that was a terrifying sound. I don't know what that was. Oh yeah, Vision should be around here somewhere. I don't know where he is. I think I already lost Vision. There he is. You can kind of see him flying around over here. Let me out. 
Air's vision. I want your mind stone. I missed. There we go. I got the mind stone and also a vision husk. Yeah, we don't want that. Get out of here. So let's add the mind stone to the gauntlet. And we now have a fully complete infinity gauntlet. Uh, now we have ability and we have an ability called the snap. Which uh, removes half of all life in this world. Which is pretty cool. I mean, I wouldn't recommend using it. But yeah, you can. Now, the abilities of the... What is it? Mind Stone. That's what it is. Are, there's one. It's Erase. So if I spawn a creeper, I can erase its mind. So if I'm getting attacked by a creeper, I can use Erase from a certain distance, there we go. And it will have no idea why it's attacking me, so it'll just kind of stop and, you know, wander off. The next one is control. So if I come over here, get controlled. Will you, you wanna like, go where I say or something? Cause I have an infinity gauntlet, you should like, automatically follow me. Okay, okay yeah. So, you have to spawn an arrow, on the mob, I think. And yeah, the creeper will follow. Kind of cool. The 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 more useful like ability of this is just spawn arrows in the sky. Like look at all these poor villagers dying. But I mean, it's for a good cause. We all need to see these arrows. So, yeah. There's only two abilities of the mind stone apparently. Again, not that many, but I don't know worth it because now I can snap. Let's get a bunch of creepers in here and I just accidentally used detect and let's snap. And as you can see the gauntlet is now damaged but I can use the reverse to yay bring it back. Now I can snap as many times as I want. It does take a minute to kick in but eventually these creepers will start to just die. So yeah let's wait for that. Let's snap again, just in case. Actually, I think when I reverse it, it might get rid of the snap ability. So yeah, it's taking a little while to kick in, so I don't really know what to say. Uh, we could just, we'll just wait here until it does start to affect these creepers. But basically, red particles spawn under the mob, and they will then disappear. I think it could take up to like a minute to actually kick in. Sometimes a little longer. Maybe two minutes. But it shouldn't be that long. So yeah. Actually, I kind of want to... I see fire over there. And just because I have the power stone, I kind of want to use fire redirection on it. And kill some of those creepers. Actually, for some reason, I can't start sprinting when I'm flying. I don't really know why. I think that's something wrong with my Minecraft controls. But yeah, let's get some fire. And let's kill some creepers. Oh! Of course as soon as I left the snap kicked in and killed like everything. So uh, let's try it again. Let's. I want to see I want to see the snap take place. Actually, I might need to use reverse. If I can. There we go. We'll snap. And I'm just going to sit here. And kind of wait for everything. And I just found out how to... Switch hands. I didn't know I could do that. I knew it could. I knew it existed. But I didn't exactly know how to do it. Yeah, we'll just kind of wait until the creepers disappear because we don't like creepers around here and apparently there's dark elves on this roof as well so you we might be able to see them disappear as well kind of cool but yeah the snap should be kind of instant like it was in the movies and I feel like you should just be able to snap your fingers and you just see all life disappear you know? Instantly. Oh, I saw a creeper disappear in the back. Oh, they're starting to disappear. 
I'm not seeing any particle effects though, I think it may be too far away. Or maybe it, that was something else making the particles. I was just thinking that was the snap. So yeah, I wonder if I use the reverse, can I bring them back? Oh no, they're gone. Yeah, those snap victims, are they're gone forever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out the Mod Creators video, link in the description. Uh, it gives you the instructions on how to download the mod, information on the mod, and the download links. So you're going to need that if you want to use the mod. Now, if you have any questions about the mod, leave them in the comments down below. I will be sure to answer. If you're wondering, this mod works on any version of Minecraft. I'm fairly certain, unless you go into a version of Minecraft that doesn't have iron golems. And is that a chicken jockey? That's a chicken jockey. You know, let's summon a moon on him, because this is pretty fun. This is probably the best mod I've ever really seen, or at least done a review on. Yeah, pretty dangerous. Like, I wouldn't recommend summoning that on your house. Oh, one other thing. I remember, I remember it, Ignite. I don't think we went over that one. Basically, it summons particles, makes your game super laggy, and then explodes. Not good for your game. Wouldn't recommend using it. I don't know why you'd use it. Maybe you want to find diamonds. And then blow them up. I don't know what your life goals are, so... I'm just going to end off the video here because I'm kind of just playing with the gauntlet at this point because it's so fun. Yeah, download the mod if you want because it's cool. Yeah, I'm just going to stop.